Hey, welcome back to the channel. So by far the two things that do the best on my channel are Apple related hardware and Chromebooks. So today I thought I would combine the two and show you how to turn your 2012 MacBook Pro into a Chromebook. Now you can see we're on a Chrome desktop and you might think this is just one of the other Chromebooks that I've reviewed, but it's actually that 2012 MacBook Pro running Chrome OS Flex. If we go into COG, we can see that it is indeed the i5-3210M. We got 16 gigs of RAM and all our Wi-Fi info. Uh, we can see the version of Chrome OS. If we go into About Chrome, uh, this is the latest version as of today. And you can go in and change uh, to the developer channel and stuff like that. I'll show you that more later. And I'm going to get into the tutorial. But the first thing that I wanted to talk about was what you can install this on. So I'll have a link down in, in the description to the instructions on how to install Chrome OS Flex. But the important part is that you have to go to uh, make sure that you have a certified model. Now we're working on the 2012 MacBook Pro. So under Apple, we're gonna scroll down and it's the MacBook Pro, Pro 9 comma uh, two. This is the 11, uh, 2011. Uh, MacBook Pro, and there's some other models. If your model is not on this list, chances are it's not going to work. I've tried it on some that weren't on this list, and it indeed did not work. So uh, for right now, you'll have to make sure that you have one of the supported models by any of these manufacturers. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, so here we are on the Mac desktop, and I'm just doing this right from my 2012 MacBook Pro, so you don't need any other computer to do this, uh, the first thing we need to do is go out and download Chrome. So we're going to just open up Safari, type in Chrome, and then we're just going to download Chrome. All right, Chrome is downloaded. Let's go ahead and just kick it off and we'll go through and install it. All right, we'll just drag that into our application folder. Let it copy over here. And then we're just gonna hit command, command space, type in Chrome and launch that application. Okay, so now we have Chrome installed. We need to go out to the Chrome web store. So just type in web store, click on Chrome web store. And we are going to need the Chrome recovery utility Chromebook recovery utility. We're going to go ahead and click on that and add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. So this is what we need to build the installer, which is what we're going to do now. So now that that's installed, we're going to click on this little puzzle piece up in the right hand corner, click on Chromebook recovery utility, and we're just going to click get started. Um, from the model list, we want to select Google as the manufacturer, Google Chrome OS Flex. This is what we're gonna select right here. And then we're gonna just select Chrome OS Flex. Hit continue. Go ahead and put the USB drive in. All right, if you get this prompt um, that it's not readable by the computer, you could just ignore this, hit ignore. If you notice in the uh, Chromebook recovery utility, it still shows up. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. Hit continue and create now. So now this is gonna download it and create the install media and then we can continue on from there. So I'm gonna pause this now and uh, just come back when this is done, just let it run. It's gonna take a few minutes to download it and then write it to the thumb drive. All right, I did forget to mention this. Once it downloads it, it checks it and unpacks it, then it's gonna prompt you for your password. So just go ahead and type that and it's gonna continue on and then write it to the thumb drive. All right, this is all complete now, so we can click done, uh, close all these down, and now we can restart our Mac. And when you restart it, you're gonna hold down the option key to give you the option to boot into Chrome OS Flex. So let's do that now. We're gonna restart. All right, so I'm currently booting this up, holding down the option key. And in a second, we'll see a boot menu here. Now there's three options here because I've used this for uh, Windows before, so you probably won't see this Windows option here. But what you wanna do is select that EFI boot. So 
Go ahead and select that one and it should come up into Chrome OS Flex. All right, here we are in Chrome OS Flex. Now I'm, I apologize that I have to use the camera for this. I couldn't capture this in my video capture. So first we're gonna go ahead and hit get started and we can either try it or we can install it on the operating or on the machine. Uh, if we try it, it's just a trial. You can check it out, make sure everything's working, but we're just gonna go for the full install. Hit install Chrome OS Flex, install click Chrome next. OS Flex. Dialogue. Install Chrome Dialogue. OS Flex. Close. Button. You wanted to erase the drive. Press yep. We're going to go for button. the full thing, erase it, Press search plus wipe it out activate. and put Chrome OS flex on there. Now this takes a little while, so I'm probably going to stop the video and then come back when it's done. Uh, I'll come back if there's any other prompts that you need to know about, but otherwise just let it run. All right. So now we're at the point where it's asking us to restart. It's counting down. It's going to shut down the computer and have us pull out our thumb drive and start up. So we should be able to boot into Chrome OS Flex at this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the thumb drive out, power it back on and see what happens. All right, so this is all looking good. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna to connect to our network. So at this point, it's pretty much just like uh, setting up a Chromebook. We're just gonna go through all the prompts here. It's gonna have me sign in with my uh, Google account. All right, let's pick our theme. I always like dark themes, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna hit get started. And here we are. We are in Chrome OS on our MacBook Pro, 2012 MacBook Pro. Um, at this point, it's kind of like a Chromebook. You don't have access to Android apps, but you do have the full range of other Chrome OS capabilities. So I'm gonna switch back to the screen capture and walk through the rest of this video. Okay, here we are back at the screen capture. And um, as you can see, it's just like any other uh, Chrome OS device. We have our bar at the bottom, you know, all our menus, and it started to sync some of our apps over. Now again, this does not have access to uh, Android apps, so we can't use those, but we can turn on the Linux developer environment. So let's go ahead and do that for Linux. And we're gonna turn that on. Just like on a Chromebook, we can go in and customize the space we're gonna use, except on this, we have a lot more space we can use. Let's just do that. And just like on a, a Chromebook or a Chromebox, this is downloading everything it needs. It's gonna set up that Linux environment. Uh, while it's doing that, we can just go and check out the rest of the system. If we go into settings, we can go to about Chrome OS and it's gonna tell us what version we're on. We can check for updates just like any other. And I think you can even go into the build channels. So you can even go and uh, choose the developer build if you want. Uh, you can see that we have Linux installed here so we can install our Linux apps just like in some of the tutorials that I've done previously. And we have a fully functional Chrome OS device. So there you go, it's a pretty easy setup. It's a very solid setup. I haven't had any issues with it. Wi-Fi connection's good, battery life is good. Everything seems to be working really well. You may be asking why you would wanna do this, and this is actually a great uh, setup for somebody that has one of these older MacBook Pros, and you can't get the latest operating system anymore. Maybe you don't wanna deal with open core to, uh, you know, have a patched version on there, you don't feel like installing Linux, you can easily install Chrome OS Flex. And if you have all your stuff in Google, if you use Google Docs and Google Drive and all that stuff, this is a great solution. It's super fast, starts up really quickly. You can navigate the operating system really quickly and access all your data if you're using this stuff in the cloud. Now, if you want a little more power, I would actually uh, recommend installing Linux on these machines. I have a, a video about that as well. And there's also a way to install the latest version of Mac OS using Open Core Patcher. I have some videos on that as well. Uh, that just, that's a little more involved, but if you don't need any of that and all your stuff is in the cloud, this is a great setup for that. 
If you have any questions or comments on anything that I went over in this video, leave them down in the comment section below. If you found this useful or informative, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.